In May, the Rural School and Community Trust Fund found that Alabama ranks number two in the nation for the highest need for attention to rural education. Here with more information, please welcome Pam Mashburn, publisher of Potential Magazine, and Dr. Monica Motley, president of ASMS. Ladies, we appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you for having us. Talk about the, uh, the reason kind of why you guys wanted to look into this a little bit more, Potential Magazine. Right. Well, you know, Potential Magazine, our mission is to help parents and teenagers really, re you know, reach their full potential. And um, this is a really unique school um, as the Alabama School of Math and Science. It's located in Mobile, and it's the only public school that's fully residential. So kids actually go live there, and the tuition is free, and the room and board is free. Wow. Yeah, it's an amazing opportunity. And um, so we've partnered up with them, and um, they have several informational sessions that are going on. But this is a neat school because it does focus on math and science, and it's for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders in Alabama only. Mm -hmm. And they really, um, what I really like about their school is that they really go to the rural communities that may not have those advanced placement classes yeah. to really help those students um, really reach their potential. And uh, I'm going to let Dr. Motley talk about some of the cool things that they do. I imagine it provides quite an opportunity for some students who might not get the opportunity where they are. Yes, that is a part of our mission, is that we want to take talented students from all over the state of Alabama. In the school's history, we've had students from all 67 counties. And so we want to develop their full potential, especially reaching out to those students who come from uh, rural communities where they may not have access to a quality education, and we provide a world-class education. All of our courses are taught at the advanced level. Um, so our students and our faculty members, um, majority of our faculty members have terminal degrees and so they all have advanced degrees. So they're very passionate about their areas in which they're teaching. So how does it work mm -hmm. now for the students? If a student's out there or their family and thinking this might be great, um, they leave for the school year and stay down in Mobile? They do. Okay, talk about they how that do. works. Yes, um, we accept students in the 10th and 11th grades and we have um, Sometimes we'll have breaks about every six weeks. So the students do have an opportunity to go home. Yeah. Um, they can go home on the weekends, but they are made to stay there at the school. And so during that time, we have wonderful opportunities for programs that support their education. Um, though our program is very rigorous, but we have lots of support because we want them to be successful. What have you noticed about some of these kids who have gone through the program and when they're leaving in the 11th grade, going yes. back for their senior year, how much they've grown? Yes, I love seeing uh, the progress that our students have made. And when our alumni come back, I always say, the big question is, do you feel like you've been prepared? Yeah. And they always say with a resounding yes, that they were prepared. And so they're prepared on the academic side as well as the social side. They know how to balance social skills as well as time management with their academics. So how can parents mm -hmm. out there figure out if their kid qualifies to be part of the school? And if so, then how do they get signed up? Yes, uh, we'll be doing informational sessions throughout the state. I will be here in Montgomery this evening at the public library at 6 o'clock. Um, but they can go on our website, www.asms.net. Um, they can sign up to go and attend one of those sessions. They can also come to preview day. And that's when parents and students will have an opportunity to come to our campus, meet some of our faculty members and our students, and get a chance to tour the school and actually see some of our classes in action. Might make the parents feel a little more easy when they see the people who are going to yes. be watching their kids down right. in Mobile area. Uh, yeah, yes. those, those kids are awesome. We know several of the families that have kids there and they just cannot say enough great things. But you know, some of the things that those kids are able to do is just amazing. Yes. Let's talk, Pam, real quickly about Potential Magazine yes. for folks who have not seen it yet or maybe they've seen an older edition. This is a newer one. Where they can find it? Kind of what, what are some of the things that are in here? Yeah, um, the, you can find Potential Magazine anywhere you can find parents and teens, um, hair salons, doctor's offices, and especially schools. We'd love for you to pick it up and um, you know check out the stories. We're going to actually be doing some stories about some of the graduates from ASMS. There's actually one that's going to be coming up. Um, and this is a student that's at Auburn, yes. and he um, created a prosthetic leg out of a used bicycle wow. for use in missions work. Awesome. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, just, yeah. I'm so All thrilled. All education down there in Mobile in South yes. Alabama. Ladies, yes. thank you so much for coming in. And thank one you. more time, if folks want more information on the program, what's the, where's the best place to go to get that information? I would say to go to our website, and that's when they can sign up for one of our informational sessions as well as for our preview day, too, as well. And the website is www asms.net. You guys are in Montgomery tonight at what time and where again? At 6 o'clock at the Public Library on High Street. All right. And they're going to be in Selma this week as well as Auburn. Yes. And so don't miss that if you're okay. in those communities. All over yes. Central Alabama. Thank you guys so much Thank for coming so and getting information. Thank you so much for having us. We Thank appreciate you. you being here. Thanks. Coming up next, 